Hi, and welcome back to Kitchen Table Talks EPIC Program Spotlight, a series of conversations where we talk with EPIC's different program coordinators and they share a little bit about the programs that they're running and how it serves our community. I'm here with Alexis today and she is part of the family engagement team and she's going to talk to us a little bit about Ready, Set, Read. Hi, Alexis. Hey, how are you? Good, thanks. So for people who are maybe new to EPIC, explain a little bit, what is Ready, Set, Read? So Ready, Set, Read is um, an early literacy course uh, that's geared towards families and their children um, from ages birth to eight years old. Um, we really focus on children in this age group because from birth to eight, children are typically learning to read and it is um, the, the stage of the most rapid development in their brain. It's kind of the, the window of opportunity is what we call it. Um, beyond age eight, uh, really age 10, um, children are still learning, they're still developing, um, but they're really reading to learn now. Um, that is reading for information, um, and most of them have established their patterns of thought and learning. Um, so in Ready, Set, Read, we're kind of giving parents a way to learn about those things, their learning styles, how they read, how to teach them to read before they've already set their patterns. So in terms of who the program serves, it sounds like it's entire families. Yes, very much so. Um, it's designed with families in mind, specifically parents, um, helping families to feel comfortable and bolster skills um, to enrich their child's literacy development. Most parents don't hold an education degree, and we believe that parents are their child's first and best teacher. So if we want our children to develop literacy earlier and parents are their child's first and best teacher, our parents really need to know about literacy. We use Ready, Set, Read um, to equip them with as many tools as possible so that they can be their best parenting self and engage in their child's literacy development from the very beginning. So it sounds like that's a big reason of why this program is important. For sure. Um, by attending Ready, Set, Read, parents and their children are receiving so many foundational skills and concepts and activities um, that can be linked to greater literacy um, capabilities, which is really what we're aiming for. But those greater literacy capabilities are linked to higher graduation rates and lower pregnancy. So all of these risk factors that we're seeing um, are kind of addressed by coming to Ready, Set, Read and, and learning how to engage in literacy in the home. Um, literacy skills and knowledge is not just for educators, like we said a little bit earlier, um, and it's imperative that families have the opportunity to know the same skills um, as their teachers and really engage with their children. Now, the big question, of course, how has this program evolved from pre-COVID days to the present day? So that's a great question. We live in kind of unprecedented times. This is the first pandemic in 100 years in the United States, um, and the first one where technology has really been um, key. So typically, we would host five in-person sessions for about 90 minutes a session. Um, parents would have their own class for an hour um, with a, a trained facilitator going over those concepts um, uh, about brain development and how to read to a child, how to pick a book um, that's developmentally appropriate and age and stage appropriate, um, while their child was going through their own one hour class where they're actually getting to do those literacy um, activities and skills that the parent is learning. Um, while we can't meet in person right now, we are in the works and are really close to being able to shift this to a virtual model. Um, so what that looks like is um, putting all of the material that they would learn in their one hour session into what's called a learning management system or an online learning system. Um, parents can kind of go in on their own and, and read and, and dig through some of this information and kind of get a grasp on their own um, throughout the week. At the end of the week, parents are able to log on to a discussion hour on Zoom where their cohort, as it were, all the other parents that are going through the same week as them, um, are discussing, okay, what did we learn this week? 
what, and that kind of takes the place of that discussion time in the class. What, what did we learn this week? How did you guys feel implementing these things? What did it look like in your house? Um, and then because support and relationship is so important and key into actually doing what you're learning and, and keeping that uh, repetition, um, we have an added support where we're going to be calling those families one-on-one -on -one as they're in the class for about 10 to 15 minutes, see if they need any help with any of the skills, if they have any questions that they didn't feel comfortable bringing up in that group setting, um, to just give them as much support and aid as possible. So such, such an effort and such a labor of love to really convert this program into, into fitting with the changing times. So what, what does this program mean to you as the program coordinator? Uh, it means so much to me. Um, I mean, I've, I grew up, my mom would read books to me every night before bed. Uh, we still have a, quite a collection of children's literature in my mom's house back home and I have two nephews, so all the books are boys' books that are down, but just in case I have girls, she has a whole girls' collection upstairs just waiting. Um, so books are a huge part of my life. Um, and when I went into education, because that is that is now my background, um, I went into a city where my sixth graders didn't know their letters. Um, coming from a family where I read books every night and couldn't imagine not being able to escape into a novel and seeing that my sixth graders had no idea what a letter was. I don't want that to be the norm. Um, and I think this program goes a long way in equipping parents so that they can help their child succeed in school and in life. Um, especially in our urban environments, oftentimes our children kind of get left behind in that school system. And so we are trying to help be there for parents so that parents can recognize when there's gaps. They can help support their children with their schoolwork at home or even before they get to school. Let's get them ready before they're even there. Excellent. So where is Ready, Set, Read being offered now? So right now we are currently in the works of putting it into our virtual system. It's Definitely takes a little bit of time. It's a pretty comprehensive course, um, but it is going to be um, on a platform called Thinkific. Definitely keep an eye on our Facebook page and our Instagram, our website, um, epicforchildren.org, uh, for more information on when we're going to launch that open. Um, if somebody wants, knows that they want to sign up for it now, they are more than welcome to email me. My email is um, h-u-t-s-k-o-a at epicforchildren.org. Um, and also they're more than welcome to, to call me as well. Um, I'd love to talk with anyone that's interested. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Alexis. And for everyone watching, exactly as she just said, for more information, you can head to our website, epicforchildren.org. There'll also be a slide coming up in just a few minutes with Alexis's email and a little more information about the program. Thank you so much. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye, everyone.